y'all it's days and days and days later but i am back out in the garden so it's been raining and it's probably going to continue to rain for most of the week so i'm taking this opportunity to do a nematode treatment now if you're not following me on social media first of all i done told y'all already follow me on social media i'm on tiktok instagram under farm unique but i had a saga with grubs now i'm going to talk about what grubs are and stuff in another video and just kind of describe them to you guys but i had a huge saga with grubs in the spring last year and so nematodes have been the thing that have been helping and so fall is the best time to do like a nematode treatment before the spring so i'm gonna get out here today while i got a little sunshine i'm gonna get out here today and i'm gonna do a nematode treatment and these raised beds behind me that's where all of the grubs had gotten and probably some of the grass and stuff around me so i'm getting ready to mix it up and get it pouring out poured out here and hopefully i never see a grub again because they are terrible purchased these grubs from a company called nature's good guys i got the triple blend mix nematodes that prey on fleas grubs fungus gnats thrips and more i'll leave the details for this company and this specific product in the description box if you're interested in it i did a, do an application of this earlier in the spring they actually sent me some to use and i really liked using it so much that i did one more application myself here in the fall and that's just because i had such a terrible grub infestation so let's talk a little bit about beneficial nematodes so they're tiny microscopic round worms that are applied to the soil to feed on things like fungus gnats and grubs so in applying these nematodes you first want to make sure you water your garden very well because they need a nice moist environment so that they can live and feed on those non-beneficial pests that we have in the garden so i did that first and then i came back and i did the nematode treatment now you don't have to be worried about whether these nematodes get on the foliage of your plants because it's perfectly safe um, you can just spray it off if you need to so you see i'm doing this when i don't have a lot planted out in the garden and that's because those grubs were eating at the roots of the plants that i had there so my plants were not thriving so before i transplant all of my young seedlings out i wanted to do one more treatment to make sure that i had eradicated my grub issue two tips for your nematode treatment is to apply it when the soil temperatures are less than 60 degrees and in the evening they do not like the light and they do not like very warm temperatures so this is why i like to do mine very early in the spring or in the fall time or both so that i ensure that my nematodes are living and that they thrive and get rid of all of those non-beneficial pests before it gets warm all right y'all so i did the nematode treatment it's a lot of <laughs> it's a lot of background noise but i did the nematode treatment and now my husband is out here helping out with filling up or topping off our grow bag so we have some organic soil mix helicopter all right, so let's try that again. So I finished the nematode treatment in the beds that were affected with grubs. Now my husband is helping me out by topping off the grow bags with um, some organic soil mix. And then I'm gonna plant out some more seeds if I can do it before the rain comes. So I love growing things in grow bags. So these grow bags, they're fabric bags. Think of the reusable shopping bags that you get like at the grocery store that's kind of what these grow bags are like but they're a little bit more heavy duty um you can find these linked in the description box but i really love growing things in this it's great for small space gardening when you don't have a big backyard or when you don't want to plant directly into the ground grow bags are amazing inside those grow bags you saw some oyas and that's just a way to keep the grow bag nice and well watered because they can dry out a bit because that fabric is breathable so you want to make sure that you're watering your grow bags very well or you have something inside of them to help you keep 
kept them very well watered. So right now you see me with my Malika mango tree. We're just adding some fresh organic soil to that because you see the soil is a little bit depleted. I did add some fertilizer in there. We're just kind of topping this off to get it ready for the fall. So next up, we're going to be refreshing our Meyer lemon tree. So this is the Meyer lemon tree. It's kind of on the struggle bus. Like, I don't know what to tell y'all about that girl. But anyways, it had some weeds growing in. I'm removing those. I removed those weeds. I added in some citrus tree fertilizer. And then we're going to top it off with some organic soil mix. I try to make sure that I use like a light soil mixture for the citrus trees. But I want to get them ready for the fall and the winter because citrus trees does not really do well in the winter so I'm just kind of refreshing it I'll probably cover it up if it gets cold at some point here in Florida but usually that doesn't happen for us until like January February time so now we're gonna add in some black cow which is a cow manure compost that I like to add when I'm going from season to season so my main two products that you guys are gonna see me use throughout multiple videos is gonna be black cow and mushroom compost I go back and forth between the two but when I'm trying to refresh my garden beds to reuse soil that I've used in the previous growing season I like to add that in it's a natural way to fertilize your soil to add good nutrients and microbes to the soil I like to mix it in the first the, the top couple inches now when I'm using black cow it is kind of strong and by that I mean I don't usually transplant my baby seedlings directly into it I usually give it a couple of maybe like a week or so to to kind of set into the garden I like to water it in let it rain a couple times let it set before I add in baby seedlings to it but I added it to the top of my fruit trees kind of as an experiment and I definitely noticed a lot of new foliage I noticed some new fruit coming up on my Meyer lemon tree so I swear by this black cow stuff it's like black gold I think that's what they call it so I'm adding it into the top of my garden beds as well watering that in really good and my garden will be good to go for the fall. So if you're concerned about the smell of the black cow, a good alternative is mushroom compost. And that's what you see me add in here. I really like to pick up this mushroom compost when I go to the local nursery just to have it on hand. So we're adding that in. And to transition the garden into the fall, winter, we're going to be moving things around. So we purchased this wooden plank for the grow bags to sit on top of. And we're just adjusting it in the yard to a place where it's going to get full sun because what I'm going to be growing in these it's probably a fall planted pepper probably some tomatoes because remember i am in florida so it's going to be warm for a while but the daylight hours are going to shorten so i like to move things back a bit so that they get full sun so i'm going to be moving my grow bags over here and i'm also going to be playing around with where to put my mango tree and i have my sour sap tree as well eventually i'm going to transition those to the to end the ground i just haven't figured out what part of my yard i want them to go in yet so they're going to stay in the containers until i figure that out but for now i want to make sure that i move them into the part of the garden that's going to get full sun for the fall and winter I'm done kind of moving things around on my little patio area I like to take my garden hose out and just kind of spray everything down and move the soil off of it I try to keep things as clean as I possibly can so that's what I'm doing here
All right, y'all, so what I'm doing right now is watering in the um, mulch on top of my fruit trees. So these fruit trees were moved up against the house because we had a hurricane that came to protect them. Now, since that time is over, for the most part, I just moved them out, put some uh, black cow on the top, and then I also use I also use this Happy Cow uh, Fruit Tree Fertilizer on the top. Um, and then I'm putting mulch on the top and I'm watering the mulch down. Now I'm doing mulch on the top because y'all, I had so many weeds growing inside of these flower pots and it's because I didn't have the mulch. So I'm adding the mulch on there, getting it watered in and I'm wrapping up for the day. Before you head out, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel, hit that like button and leave me a comment of what you're planning to grow in the next season in your garden. Follow me on TikTok at farmunique underscore. Follow me on Instagram at farmunique and I'm also on Facebook at farmunique. Come back soon for so much more content. Happy gardening.